and you can see the different categories for itemizing. And these are the types of deductions often come into mind when you first think about like deductions. You got the medical and dental, you got the taxes you pay, like real estate taxes. You've got the interest, like the mortgage interest. You've got the gifts to charity, charitable contributions and casualty and other uh, deductions down below. Now note the big thing that you're gonna ask uh, if people are gonna push over from itemizing uh, from standard to taking an itemized is the interest, whether they own a home. In other words, do they own a home? If they own a home, then they're probably got a mortgage on it. If they have a mortgage on it, then the interest on the mortgage is the big one that often pushes a lot of people over. I'm foreclosing the mortgage. And that in conjunction and alignment with the fact that you're gonna have property taxes on it as well. So the home will lead to two big items, property taxes, and the uh, mortgage interest. And if you're in a state where uh, the homes are, are much more expensive uh, type of area, just because cost of living is higher, like California or New York or something, then it's likely that the, the house is higher uh, in terms of cost, the loans higher, and then owning a home can kick people over quite easily. If you're in other parts of the country where it's, there's reasonable prices actually for a home, then <laughs> then the standard deduction is such that you still could find situations where people are taking the standard deduction and you wanna really understand that because a lot of times when you talk to like real estate brokers and whatnot, they're gonna, they're gonna say, well, you get this big tax benefit, but we'll, we'll talk that about more of it when we get into that area, but just realize that the, the benefit might not be as big as you think because you have to consider the gap between your standard deduction and your itemized deduction. So although you get this big itemized deduction, if your standard deduction was pretty close to it before, you might not be getting as much of, the, of, a, of a difference than you would otherwise think. And you have to actually run a tax projection to figure that out. But we'll talk more about that later. So then, so, so if you if you're, don't know which one they're gonna be able to take, you're gonna have to collect all the information. Also, if someone got into some bad medical situation, hospital bills and stuff like that, then the medical stuff in and of itself might push someone over, but there's restrictions to the AGI limitations on the medical. So that's it's usually the home that pushes people over. Okay, so let's get back to the standard deductions here. Here's the 12,950. I could double check that on my little worksheet in Excel where I put $100,000 in for the W-2 wages, pulling in here, no above the line items and then the standard deduction is the 12,950 there's the 12,950 in our table it being pulled from there and that's going to give us then our 8750 there's our 8750 i depend on the tax software to do the calculation of the 14774 and there's the 14774 and then we had the <clears throat> tax payment of the 15,000 getting us to the 22 uh, six. We're mainly focused here on the first half though, which is just the calculation of the income tax.